BodyShopATL.com. That's BodyShopATL.com. Simon Conway in for Andy Dean here on American Now, X77927. Andy, X77927-2639. We've got some uh, very patient people on the ground. Turn the water heater on. See the switch on the right go up. Meter on the right. Flip it back off. Back down. Turn the converter off. Goes right down to zero. Flip it back on. Starts charging the battery again. On the uh, other side, not much, I mean it's just still jumping all over the ballpark. Microwave, air conditioner, doesn't really matter. I did swap the shunt leads around back. Didn't make any difference, it, it dropped one leg over to the other side. Uh, they're both on 50 amp circuits right now. It's 200 amp shunts each. The one on the right goes to the 20 amp side of the generator. The one on the left goes to the 30 amp side of the generator. Put little labels on them underneath it. So you can see. A little disappointed that one of them's jumping all over the place, but it should be easy to pull out and replace. And down here we have the two shunts that I installed. This is an auto transfer switch box. The white leg on the right is the shore power, black leg in the middle is the generator power. And then over on your left is your outbound into the back of the breaker panel. You've got a few different wires that run up there. I've got 22 gauge wires running out of the top of the shunts. Um, that's how it attaches. And then, of course, a black leg going through one shunt and the red leg going through the other shunt. The neutral on the ground don't go through any shunt and hang out on top. All that goes through the transfer switch down here. And uh, the other leads go back inside the RV to connect back to the back of the display.